Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. Hey guys, um, so I have a lot of breakage going on in my locks right now and I think it's because one, even though I always tell you guys to drink lots of water, I am human and I have been slipping up for the past month or so and that is just the truth um and also i've been like stressed out because remember i told you guys what you feel inside kind of comes out in your body and your hair and stuff like i've been breaking out just a whole bunch of stuff anyways so i wanted to do a deep condition and a hot oil treatment in my hair today so today is going to be a long day for me but short for you because of editing. <laughs> and I'm gonna break it up in two parts, deep conditioning and the other one will be hot oil treatment and what oils I use for to help with hair breakage and moisture and everything, but especially for hair breakage, okay? First things first, um, I usually make my own DIY um, deep conditioners but today i was at the beauty supply store and i keep hearing about shea moisture products and how a lot of people with locks they use it and they have good results and all this stuff so i wanted to kind of give it a try i just washed my hair so i picked up this shea moisture jamaican black castor oil um strengthen grow and restore conditioner with shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. It says that it's natural and chemically, it's for natural and chemically processed color treatment or heat styled hair. Um, it's said to nourish, repair, and grow. It's sulfate free. This ran me about $11.99. I don't think you can see that, but this was $11.99. And it's a 13 fluid ounce bottle. I'm not quite sure if this would be enough for my hair. Like, I'll go with the flow, like how much I'm going to use. But the reason why I picked this up, because first and foremost, uh, Jamaican black castor oil. It helps with hair growth. It helps you with breakage. And that is what's going on. The only concern I have is with shea butter. I haven't used any butters in my hair. And... I always uh, thought that shea butter and stuff like that is not really good for locks because it's kind of hard. I, I always assumed it was like beeswax. Look, I'm being honest with you guys. I am no professional. I am no loctician. I just know my hair and what works for my hair. So I just want to be honest with y'all. I don't want to come out here faking the funk. But that's the only reason why I didn't pick this up because of the shea butter aspect but i did a lot of research on youtube and like google and stuff and i saw a lot of people with locks um use it and say that they had great results afterwards so without further ado let's get conditioning i'm sorry if i look bulky like i have a towel under my shirt because i don't want the towel to cause lint in my hair and i've been drying my hair with a t-shirt so um, what I'm going to do is section my hair in two parts and we'll go from there. Like The one thing I don't like about this bottle so far that I'm looking at it is the, this, I would rather it be a, a application top. Um, you know, like those application bottles, the skinny you know what I mean I would rather it be that my hair smells like eucalyptus it like you can see my hair is pretty clean I scrubbed it in the shower for I want to say two hours I hate these bottles because when you have to squeeze you have to squeeze so much until the product comes out so this is a product it's like a mud it smells good though it's like a, it does it does smell like shea butter it does smell like that but that's fine I'm just gonna put that all over 
I find that I have to squirt a lot at a time. Like I said, I didn't know how much I'm gonna use because I do have a lot of hair and my hair is breaking. It's not at its healthiest state at the moment. So like I said, I did want to um, kind of oversaturate my hair with conditioner. So the fact that I have to squeeze it so much, it's kind of irritating, but it's fine. I'll deal. As you can see, doing it, splitting up the sections so I could get the conditioner into each um, lock top. I've used, um, let me, where's that square? I don't know if you guys could see it, but I bought a third. I could have used probably more, but the application part of it, it was just annoying. And then squeezing it so much, the palms of my hands started hurting a little bit. So I already feel it tingling from the peppermint, so at least I know I've I put enough in my hair, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna get like a garbage bag or something because that's the only thing that I could fit all this hair in. I'm gonna get a garbage bag and just sit with it for about 30 to 45 minutes, an hour. It depends on what I'm watching on TV. <laughs> and then after I wash it out, I'll be right back and let you guys know what I think of the Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil Conditioner. Yay! And it smells so good. Oh, I was, I deep, I wanna say I deep conditioned my hair for about an hour. Off the bat, it feels soft. My review for the Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil conditioner. I don't know if you can see it. I would say that um, I will have to use it for a couple more times to see if I will keep this into my regimen. But off of first, uh, first review, um, one thing I don't like is the applicator. Um, I don't like that part. I, I actually hate that part. It's not um, beneficial for locks, I, but it smells really good. It's not thick, so meaning it's not that hard to get out of your hair. And I feel it doing something because my hair is tingling. Off of first review, I would say to try it because um, there's a few benefits, but I also want to give it a few more tries to see if I would keep it in my regimen. But all in all, I would give this about a seven. Anyways, I see you guys later in the next video when I do my hot oil treatment. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.